Well, when I um, use the uh, food banks and all that, it takes a lot to um, actually pluck up the courage to uh, go and ask because um, you get embarrassed, um, your pride takes a bit of a fall and you also think that, you know, why should in this day and age have to be relying on food banks and uh, uh, people's handouts when you're on benefits but can't survive? The best bits of all, I think, are the people, the warm, clean. It's a diverse city with a lot of the best of people in it. To make it better, we need better, longer term, stable jobs. We need to get rid of zero hour contracts, short term contracts. We need to get rid of the fear of losing our jobs. I found straight away that the, um, the, the pace of life up here is a lot slower. The people are a lot more friendlier, more outgoing. Um, where down south it was a little more fast paced, people were a little bit more unfriendly. Um, so I just prefer Hull, I like Hull and the people at Hull are just so welcoming to people from all over the place, not just the UK. The, the priority for people in Hull is uh, getting decent jobs uh, and I know that um, we hear a lot about more and more jobs being created uh, but a lot of the jobs that have been created around here are non-jobs, they're not real, they're things like zero hours contracts um, and it makes life really difficult for people to take a job like that and come off benefits because they're not guaranteed enough work. Help us. <laughs> Just help us. What, what would that take? The reform it would take would be to have a fair society to support the needy and to stop making morality a dirty word in this country. I'd say to that. I think you should be a more opportunities to go into jobs without experience, so like giving you maybe like training at the actual job instead of them um, saying you need required say like experience in management of summit. What would I like this government to do? Keep the promises. I would rather they came in with two or three good, genuine policies than a hundred ad hoc ones that they have no intentions of following through. I'd like a fairer society for all of us, not just the low paid, but all of us. A fairer society to me looks like a society where we look after our elderly, where we look after our sick, where we look after the unemployed. A fairer society is not where the rich pay the absolute maximum that they, they, they can pay, but that the distribution of taxes is equalised. Many social services departments that originally had 32 members have now got three people doing all the work of those 32 people. You can't possibly cover it all. We aren't helping people who have urgent needs. Uh, mental health has been cut. People with mental health problems aren't being helped. People are dying because they're losing their benefits. And it needs to stop. If Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn were um, in the same room with me and I got to talk to them, I'd actually um, open their eyes to the real world and um, to people's real struggles. You know, I don't think they really get the, the, the struggle that the normal man on the street, you know, family, single people actually go through when they're on benefits and the fear of sanctions and uh, just get them to understand that, you know, that the fear of being sanctioned is so detrimental to people with mental health, you know, to actually talk to the general public instead of people in committees and things like that or hear it from other MPs.